Hey everyone, Base DS here, and welcome back to more Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. Last time we, we, we made our way through Sanopolis Zone, and now that that's behind us, we are here in my favorite zone of the second half of the game, and that being Lava Reef. So, yeah, keep in mind, Lava, adding in the Flame Shield, best shield in this zone, period. It'll prevent you from dying by running into the lava. Of course, granted, the, elect the electric shield is also good here, too, so... Not to knock it or anything, but... Ultimately, the flame shield is the more superior shield in this zone. And as for the Bannocks here, there are Toxamister, Fireworm, and Boomrock. Boomrocks will just explode on their own accord. You can't really do anything to them, so... Okay, that was pretty close there. Alright, I'll just go ahead and get that flame shield. Um, eh, okay, why not? It's been a while since I jumped into a bonus stage. It's been quite a while, not since uh, launch base zone, I believe. Just go ahead and get on up to the top here. And hopefully getting a good amount of rings on our way up here. Okay, that's good. Almost gets me to 200. I'm fine with that. So now we'll ride this little lift down by spin dashing on it. Okay, let's go hyper. And so one thing to keep in mind here now, if you're still missing any super or chaos emeralds, Lava Reef Zone is your last chance to get any. Because after this, there will be no more giant rings from here on out. So keep in mind, this is your last chance to get any emeralds that you're missing. Either of the Chaos or the Super variety. But luckily, I do not have to worry about that because I knew damn well where all... where most of the early giant rings and all the zones were, so... Not even an issue. Now, there is a giant ring around, yeah, right down there, but I think only Tails can get it. I'm not exactly sure. But as far as I know, I don't think I've even ever been able to get to it as Tails before, so... Man, go figure that one out. A little something. Look what's in the background. There's the death egg. So yeah, after the failed launch attempt at launch base, it ended up coming back down to the floating island and actually landed on top of the volcano. And I'll just go ahead and come down here. I uh, don't know what switch was hit, but meh. Oh, it's been a while since I've gone this way. But okay. I'm not knocking it. <sighs> okay, I thought I was going to die there for a second. Almost to the end of the act. Well, actually, we're right at it now. And so here we have the sub-boss heat arm. So he will have these little arm cannons. Well, these little cannons come out, and after they shoot off some projectiles, 
the main boss will come out. So keep in mind, you don't have to destroy these things. You can keep them, keep them around if you want, but if you want to go ahead and try and destroy Heat Arm as fast as you can, then you want to go ahead and get those little turrets knocked out of the way as fast as you can. And you also make sure you don't get crushed by the giant hand. I don't think it can kill you right off the bat, but again, I don't feel like testing it right now. But with that, Heat Arm is down and out. And we're done with Act 1. And so now from this point on, the lava pretty much cools down, allowing us to walk on it. And for Act 2, I like to think this is more of the island's lava regulator because there's just so many pipes here and everything and it's more mechanical than act one uh yep that right there as far as i know those have only appeared in a those monitors right there the robotic monitors i believe they only appear in the main game here in sonic 3 and knuckles as well as sonic 3 alone they would appear in Sonic 2's multiplayer, but again, that's multiplayer, not single player. But still, you break one of those open, you're either losing your shield or you're going to be losing all of your rings. So, yeah. Okay, I'll grab that giant ring. Thank you very much. And so keep in mind, now that we're in Act 2, if you're still missing any emeralds, this is your last chance. But luckily with me playing, if you don't know where the giant rings would be, I know exactly where they are, so don't worry. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, didn't know if there was anything in that hallway there, so I'm good. Yeah, let's get on that platform here. Come on now. And I'll gladly take that extra life there. Okay, I completely mistimed that. There we go. <sighs> okay, I was really being gutsy at that point there. Yeah, even though I got a flame shield on, I still want to try and take it easy here. One wrong move, and I can easily die. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this little turbine here. Come on. Get up there. There we go. Alright, second to last giant ring. We're getting closer to the end of the act, so we'll almost be done soon. Just want to go ahead and come down here. So we're not going to go that way, instead we're going to come on down here. Okay, maybe not. I guess I gotta wait till I get further in then, alright. No problem. I can wait a little bit longer. And you know, for the longest time, I always wondered what this switch was for. 
but it's actually for opening this door here to get into there. And so that right there was the last giant ring. So now you know, keep that in mind. And we're reaching the end of the act now. Okay, there's no moving mace on that platform. Okay, I didn't know if there was or not. And as we climb up higher, we're getting closer to the death egg. But yeah, if you thought Knuckles throwing a bomb at us was homicidal, nah, that's straight up first degree murder right there, dropping a boulder on us. But anyway, that brings us down here to the lower portions of Lava Reef, and I always enjoyed this boss scenario here. I just loved it. I mean, it's pretty much an interactive cutscene, if anything, leading up to the boss itself. I just enjoyed it so much. I thought it was the coolest thing ever when I got to it. You got the death egg looming in the background. Alright. Just gotta be careful. I can easily die there until the screen clips in, and we're good. Yeah, not keeping that shield around for long. So now we just go ahead and come down the lava flow here. And here we have the Robonic Lava Pod. And there's absolutely nothing you can do to it. Instead, you have to let Robonic destroy himself. He'll fire off three mines, and depending on what site he's on, the lava will shift more towards his direction. And that'll cause the mines to end up hitting him. So yeah, it's gonna take a while, but eventually he's gonna destroy himself. You don't have to do anything. Granted, this would be a lot harder if you didn't have a flame shield on hand, but luckily, since I do, you don't have to worry about that. Alright, I believe he just has two more cycles. So he's getting close to defeating himself. So let's just jump on over to here. Not very smart there, are you, Robonic? You tried using that IQ of 300 to your advantage, but it didn't work out for you. But with that and another prison capsule destroyed, the last one in the game, mind you, that'll go ahead and end things here. So, until next time, thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying things so far, and I'll see you all again later.